So Jamie contacted us via the Facebook page about growing mint uh, that he has on his windowsill. Thank you. It wasn't looking so good. Here, this is what he sent us. My mint is in bad shape. I hate when things start out that way. <laughs> it lives in a windowsill in my kitchen. Uh, can you help diagnose what the problem may be? Yes, you need a renewal by Anderson window <laughs> that you can uh, that you can get a little more room because uh, I saw it. And, and uh, here's what's going on: uh, the picture that he sent us that the leaves are real chlorotic on the bottom, and that you can see only green basically on the veins, the leaf veins, and that it just seems to be touched all on the plant, and and a lot of times. You know, when we diagnose plant problems, here's something to keep in mind. Like if you're looking at it, you have a plant and there's something wrong. If you have a plant that's whole color is changing, like the entire plant is changing, you either have an environmental issue that you didn't water it <laughs> or you watered it too, too much, much. Yeah. or it's a disease issue to where it's over the whole plant. Insects generally don't turn the entire plant brown. And one thing that I noticed is the way that this plant, the bottom leaves are in worse shape than the top leaves. And there are some insects that will do that. And, and that basically, it, I think he's got mites mm. on the plant. I also think that it's in too small a pot that it needs to be transplanted. Yeah, that's overgrown. Uh, um, he also, like, if you want to grow herbs inside, eh, they don't grow in the shade real well. They like to be in sun. They like to be in sun. So um, I don't think sun is his issue, though. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at the picture that he sent us right now. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that if you're growing indoors, they're getting enough light. That's number one. And that... The leaves, you know, because we're on radio and 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 that we're on um, podcasting, so the leaves are like a mottled green. And again, I think there's insect activity, and from what it looks like, is that the leaves are being sucked. <laughs> so when you diagnose plants that have an insect on them, they they feed in two ways. One, they actually physically eat the leaves like our caterpillar is doing that you're going to see in just a moment or it's sucking the life out of the plant by they're sticking like think of it this way they stick a needle in there and then they just suck all the suck juices all the juice. out yeah. and that turns it yellow like yeah, chinch bugs in your lawn do that as mm -hmm. opposed to japanese beetle or larvae or grubs where they eat the roots yeah. so here's here's what we've got an a Organic insecticide sprayed named Spinosad. Spinosad, um, and I branded it a couple of years back, which was great. They called it Captain Jack's, but now, unfortunately, Bonide has been sold, and now everything has the Captain Jack's okay. label on it, even weed control. So look for Spinosad, and that's S P I N O S A D. Spin O sad, spin O sad. <laughs> All right, yeah. and that our brand that that we have and, and we like very much is a Fertilone brand because it's both spinosad and it's a spinosad soap, which makes it just that much more active. Um, it <laughs> that it's got a kind of funny story. This is not like one of those old insecticide that's been around since the forties. This has been was discovered in 1982 in a Caribbean rum still. <laughs> so, um, see, drinking is not good for you. Uh, it was found that the bacteria that was in that still it produced a, a substance, actually a neurotoxin, uh, and, and it controls many many insects. And when they're exposed, they they. <laughs> 
they become it's like excited? a lot of, like a lot of but when you drink rum, I guess yeah. it's the same kind of thing. They yeah. become excited to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> Is that what they, they stop mean? eating and immediately they stop eating and then die within a couple of days. That's what you do when you the drink. thing that I really like is that when you spray this, it, you can harvest in a week. Wow, that's pretty quick. There are some plants, now this is on mint, there are some plants where you can harvest the next day. Mm. Um, it's, it's, one, it's one of those perfect organic insecticides that has a decent residual. Um, but I suggest make sure that it, that it replants. Now, in the studio, we have, uh, if you're, you're on, looking at us on YouTube, we have a uh, parsley, flat leaf parsley, Italian parsley. And when we were looking for mint plant at the store to bring in as an example, what we found was a swallowtail uh, caterpillar for a swallowtail butterfly on our parsley plant. And that there is uh, a series of different plants that we sell that are called Caterpillar Candy, and that's by uh, Centerton Nursery, um, and that where they are a, an exclusive, where they the swallowtails love parsley. And that you can see, this one looking pretty fat, isn't he, Aaron? <laughs> Aaron's got a close-up on him. Um, and uh, is he still eating? Because he he's, he's stopped. He's, he got... He doesn't like being on camera. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if, if you were listening on the last segment, I was talking about the things eating away, and, and I can't help but see them. Um, but anyway, that, uh, you know, think about when you have certain things like herbs, like dill, for instance, is another host, um, and that where the – caterpillars and the insects are there. Now, here's the sad part. If you sprayed it with cenosid, you would be killing. Right. You would be killing the caterpillars. Oh, he's he's oh. moving the whole leaf. <laughs> he really is. Wow. He wants out of here. We'll leave it with Sam. Anyway, <laughs> that, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Like if with the mint plant, it looks like it has mites. Where that's something where it's something that's a little bit different. Where it's all over it, and it's basically a cleanup spray, and it it's going to last like a week. But if if you love cat uh, uh, butterflies, you have to be aware that they are now caterpillars eating your plants. And you just have to be aware that, like, maybe I can spot spray. Maybe I can live with it for a while, yeah. like having it look ugly. ugly. Um, you know, I was, I was wondering, when I was looking at Jamie's uh, plant, I was wondering, do I want a mojito <laughs> out of the model leaves? Yeah. Tastes the same. But then again, am I eating mites? Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. I, I think uh, what I would do is I would make sure there were no caterpillars on it. Yeah. So that I'm not con I'm not hurting any good bugs, and that uh, what we we do is spray that, mm -hmm. isolate it for a while, and then go back and and start growing it. I would cut it back a little bit too. What about you, Julie? You think you should cut it back after he sprays it? Yeah, I think you should. You know, cut it yeah. back. Just mm -hmm. just tip it. The yeah, tip it is like it. where you just take a pinch of like after the first yeah. or second group of leaves, oh, yeah, yeah. and it will help it spread out spread and be out fuller. As so, you, like you said, you know, repot it. Yeah, and he and he needs to feed it. <laughs> feed, oh yeah, because that's part of the problem with his uh -huh. plan is that it definitely needs right. food. Uh -huh. um, if he uses the Espoma Organic Indoor Liquid Plant Food oh, that, 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 um, every two weeks, and that that'll make that color mm -hmm. improve as well. Um, but repotting it is because I know that he has uh, that so. herb looks like it's from us. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that I can tell by the pot, and it has a very um, bark type soil, so he needs to get it transplanted in in a bigger pot so that it can grow a bit. Mm -hmm. But again, take a look when, when you're spraying this time of the year. Be sure that you're not spraying the beneficial insects and such. Uh, you can certainly. Uh, take a look on, uh, you can Google it. You can get a lot of information about beneficial 
uh, insects, so you, you, you know, uh, but not all insects are beneficial insects. Um, honestly, a farmer would look at this thing eating his crop and he would say, that caterpillar is toast. I don't care if it's a swallowtail, you know, but uh, again, we can be a little bit more selective. Yep. Awesome. Anything to add, Julio? No, it's, everything has been touched. Yep. Yep. Cut it so, back. Cut it back. Feed it. Right. Check for, tr- then transplant in a bigger pot. Bigger pot, yeah. Check for any uh, insect, Inside. beneficial insects mm-hmm. or pollinators. Spray it with spinosad. Mm-hmm. Wait a week. Start again. making your mojitos. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go.